All right, now the next step here is to install the awesome Android Studio, which is the IDE, the integrated development environment for Android app development. Now this IDE here is developed and maintained by Google, and it's actually based on IntelliJ, which is developed by JetBrains, just like Kotlin. So this is also one of the reasons why it was easy for Android Studio to add really great support for the Kotlin language as well, because IntelliJ, the IDE that it's based on, of course has the best support for Kotlin since it's made by the same company that created Kotlin itself. And this is a really powerful tool here because it not only lets you write your code very productively if you know how to use it, it also lets you emulate Android devices, for example, in order to run your applications without actually having a physical Android device. But we're gonna see all those great features later, so for now let's see how we can actually install and get this Android Studio set up. Now again, you can take a look at the resources for this video in order to find this link that goes to the Android Studio installation page and you can install Android Studio from here or download. And it's automatically gonna show the download link for your operating system. Now for me at the time of recording, this would be version 2.3.3, which is the latest stable version. But for you, it may already be Android Studio 3 where Kotlin is actually integrated from the start. If this isn't the case yet, you may also want to go to the preview page here, which is also linked in the resources, in order to get an early version of Android Studio version 3, in which, as I said, Kotlin is baked in from the start, but you can also use version 2.3 if you want, and you can easily install Kotlin there as a plugin as well. But for me to make this course also a bit more future-proof, I'm gonna actually go for the preview version of Android Studio 3. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the download link, I'm gonna say I agree, and download the Android Studio installer. Now it's gonna come up here with a zip file that you can then save to your downloads folder, for example, in order to then unzip it and install Android Studio. So I'm not gonna skip the actual download and I'm gonna skip to where you actually have finished the download and where we're gonna actually start and use Android Studio. All right, so once the download has finished, you can simply use the archive and zip it in order to get the actual Android Studio folder here. And once this has finished, we can already start Android Studio and I'm gonna guide you through how to actually set it up once this unzipping here has finished. All right, so after unzipping, you can go into the Android Studio folder here, and you're gonna see we have a bin directory. We have actually the executable to start Android Studio or to start Android Studio for 64 bits. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, pin this to the taskbar so that I don't have to actually go into this folder every time I wanna start Android Studio. Because instead, it's just gonna be down here, and I can just use or launch it from here. So now we can close this up and start Android Studio. And it's gonna take a short while to start up because it's quite a heavy software. And it also does take a bit of resources. So you should have a machine that can actually also handle Android Studio, but it should work fine on most machines. So now it's gonna also start downloading some files already. And when you're starting this the very first time it's actually gonna have a, another screen in front of this, which if you've never had Android Studio before, you can just go and say, I didn't have Android Studio before, so just go without any previous setup. And then you're gonna to get to this screen here, which is gonna guide you through the process of just getting Android Studio ready to go. So here you can see what you can use Android for. So you're gonna just click next, and I'm just gonna go with the standard installation and you can do the same thing. So for me, you can see what it's gonna download here, so what extra dependencies it needs. Most significantly, there's the Android SDK, the standard development kit that we're gonna need in order to actually, well, develop any Android apps. So this SDK here contains all the files and all the dependencies for all those Android components that we wanna use from our code. And also it's gonna download the Android emulator which is gonna allow us to actually run or simulate or emulate to be precise an Android device 
on our machine without actually having a physical Android phone. Another thing to notice here is the Hexam installer. And this is only for Intel based machines. And it's gonna make the Android emulator, so the emulated Android device, run a lot faster. Now, if you're not on an Intel based machine, this won't work. But what you can do in order to, well, make this more performant is to use a physical device if you do have one. So that's also possible. If you are using an Intel processor, it's gonna just use this emulator accelerator here, this Hexam installer. And if not, you're gonna have to see if, well, the performance of the Android emulator is still okay or not. And if it's not, you do still have the opportunity or the possibility to use a physical device if you have one. So that's just to give you a quick overview of some of the things that are also downloaded now additionally to the Android Studio IDE in order to actually be able to develop any Android apps. So now we can just hit finish here and it's gonna start downloading a lot of stuff. So it's gonna, well, really use your internet bandwidth a bit. But once this has downloaded, we can already start actually using this and try to also integrate Kotlin into our first Android app. So let's now have a bit of patience and just try to wait until this has finished. All right, so now after all the downloads and unzipping and the installations have finished, you're gonna see something like this if you show the details. And you can also see that this Intel Hexam installer has also finished for me because I'm using an Intel processor and hopefully it's gonna work for you too. So now I'm gonna click finish and it's gonna come up here with the start screen for Android Studio. So you're now all set up. You have the Java JDK, you have Android Studio with the Android SDK, the Android emulator and everything ready to go. So in the next lecture, we're gonna create our first Android Studio project and already integrate Kotlin and start it. So I hope you look forward to that. I'm gonna see you again in the next lecture.